both of these guys. I mean, how can you know? They're both like, they they both have helped try to help the scene a lot. Both of them are really nice people, um, and both of them are willing to help you if you want if you uh, want to play friendlies with them. So exactly, both of them are really easy to talk to as well. So. Mm -hmm. Even you know, even somebody who's on day one, they approach somebody like Snuttle, he's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I'll play with you." Absolutely, and uh, he's one of those people who said like he plays just above your skill level, oh. so you understand what you do wrong and group for who. We see the peach. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Interesting. I know he's been saying he wants he wants to get his peach to a really high level, and he feels like he can eventually get it better than Samsora. Yeah. That the with Zenodo's Peach, he's always really good at getting you in the position that he wants you to be in with those turnips because the turnips have been buffed immensely. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is unconfirmed, but I uh, some people have said like Peach's RNG for pulling items has increased. Some people say it's the same, but I feel like it's increased. Yeah, it, it could be a, a placebo effect, but I also believe the same um, from just experience fighting with, uh, different Peaches in the right. past. And um, I'm liking this pressure Zenodo's kind of putting. You saw him like kind of put do like up air and then try and catch uh, case of directional air dodge away with like back air. Um, you see, you see um, the grab. He wanted to instead um, gra grab uh, Zenodo out of. Oh, a stitch face! He <laughs> just threw it away. Oh no! But it's okay. I can't even finish my thought when there's stitch faces. Yeah, I think it was like. Yeah, like uh, like Zenodo was telling me he got three stitch faces in a row the other day. I'm like, how do you do that? But, uh... It's the buffed RNG! <laughs> Alright, now we have Zenodo coming in with the fair. Look at 125.6% on Kesa. Mm -hmm. And he's looking for the kill, and he's looking at any way that he can get him to pop up and uh, get maybe a fair or a back air, yeah. something to get him off. And uh, I like how much pressure Zenodo's putting, because it's not allowing Kesa to get these uh, kind of like walling setups he's so, you know, uh, well known for uh, I've been kind of just like boxing out and then going in when he knows oh, the move. Wow, that was a wonderful bear to dash attack mm -hmm. um, on Zenodo's part. And now we have k -Sub. He wants to get in on stage. He's gotten in on stage, but he's sitting there pretty with this 153. He is able to parry that turnip. Yeah. But he, ha there's no dice. He's just really in a defensive state, yeah. and he loses his stock but because he has no options to do right there. Yeah, it was very tricky because Zenodo uh, 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 could have just fared or just yeah, did the side be like did. Um, my goodness, 71% already. Yeah, my goodness. The combo potential on Peach now is amazing. Mm -hmm. What she can do, especially with float cancel nares and and just all the combos she can do off of up air and down air. And nice high uh, uh, read on the high recovery by Kesev. A lot of snakes do tend to uh, go for that option, so it's harder for to get edge guarded. But we have, you see Kesev, he wants that up tilt because that up tilt's gonna kill immediately, and he wants to be he wants he wants to be at least one stock behind, not two. But he's struggling to get in. Yeah, he, gets the, up tilt. he gets the up tilt. Now uh, one more stock, and he can. Uh, it's a relatively even game. Um, I think Kesa just has to figure out how to. Uh, just keep the pressure on Peach like he's doing right now. Force her to a ledge. Um, keep her there. Yeah, and he, what he should have done there is he definitely shouldn't have pulled the grenade at that moment to, because of um, the aerial that Peach was throwing out at the time. So he's just struggling to, you know, fight off these aerials that are taking up the entire stage and putting all the pressure. And now <laughs> we have a Mr. Saturn. Saturn. Now we can't even shield. Oh, oh wow! I mean, no shield. I charge. Yeah. There it is. is. All right, this is obviously doable for oh, Kesev. Maybe he can make it happen. Absolutely. All he needs is another shield break, and maybe he can get a zero to sixty. Honestly, all he needs is to figure out a way to kind of snuff uh, Zenodo's like j like short up jump options and these aerials he's throwing out. Man, it's so hard for Snake. Uh, uh, you know, Kesev is trying to get back on stage. He does a B reverse, um, but his landing is just it, it's off sometimes, and that's what Zenodo's looking for. And um. Despite the, the high percentage, I like how he's kind of keeping a distance away because you don't always have to go in even if you're behind. You play the game, you're, the, the neutral, you're good at. Yeah, that was actually a, a risky, um, you know, blow up of the C4 and a bear that he did, but it worked out for him. He's still living, but this is where he really needs to be careful, especially when the landing's caught oh, the and back throw, yeah. the back throw comes out. But it killed at like 210. That was, uh, Snake living a very high percentage on the stage. Um, Zenodo's Peach, no slouch. Yeah. Let me tell you. But uh, 
Where do you think um, uh, k Seb will go? I definitely don't think that they're going to go to Warriors, but I think it's going to be Battlefield. Oh, Final Destination. Okay. Um, it's hard. It's a hard choice because you don't see this matchup every day. Right. <laughs> Nowadays you might, but this is something that is going to be a uh, a difficult thing for k to get over here. It just, all the offense that Zunoto has puts k in such a defensive state that it's just difficult for him to you know, to make things happen, but here we are. He has stage control, 46% on Peach, mm -hmm. and then she goes for a down throw, and we're back to we're back to normal. Yeah. Kaseb's already at an advantage. I like that. Up till he kind of caught Zenodo, um, just kind of like floating and just empty, hop, uh, you know, trying to like hop a lot. Um, he understands now he has to stay in shield as much as possible during, you know, laggy attacks like there that'll poke you, or sorry, um, down here that'll poke you out of shield. Right. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be a challenge. Yeah, nice tech, Good tech. Though. Yeah. Wonderful tech. And smart directional air dodge back. Exactly. One of his best tools as Snake is, is to directional air dodge into the stage to be able to help him actually return. Both right. players returning to the middle <laughs> of the stage here now. And uh, I honestly think this is what uh, Kesa needs, is because as long as he can, like, wall, he hasn't had a chance much to wall um, reach out, and now he can. Uh, All right. We, we saw a little bit of camping. Ooh. We saw a sneaky C4 yeah. detonation, and there's C4 right there under Peach right now. Yeah. Um, and, ten, you know, 22% now, but that missed read on the down throw is going to put him off stage. He's back on. Gonna hit him Has with a grenade. Climber. And now he's recovering high. That's awesome what he did. He, he um, faded away from Peach, which was on the other side of the stage. And now he's camping with his grenades versus Peach's uh, projectile as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was, that was so clean. That was wonderful. I don't, maybe Zenodo forgot about it, or maybe he, it was just not on his mind at the moment. Right. But he put, he put the C4 back down. He blows it up. And now we, we have um, air dodge to the ledge. He has control of the stage at this point, and Nikita is always a powerful ledge option. Just like you said there, he actually, and it's so quick now, like it actually ca could have, it caught a Zenodo and killed him. Absolutely, even if you were to cancel it, it could have still killed him, and it right. probably still would have. Uh, All right, now he's now he's putting Zenodo in a defensive area. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> this is like a repeat of uh, game one, like a reverse repeat of game one, like where K7 is up uh, one stock, um, and he's very comfortable at keeping the lead now and playing to uh, his comfort state and letting Zenodo approach. Oh, he overcommitted a little bit with that dash attack when Zenodo shielded and was able to convert off of it. Right. And here we are, 44% uh, percent one stock and 63% on Kesa, two stocks. I like that he tried to make, he tried to pummel to and throw back throw so the grenade would go time with the grenade blowing up and uh, do a lot more damage. There we go. That was a good landing. Uh, Catch on uh, Zenoda's landing there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh wow! Even even the explosion, uh, Zenoda was able to convert off of that. Right. Nice he, dash. Attack. He tried. Case up. He tried to blow it up, but in the middle of the animation, it looked like Peach had dash attacked him out of it, so it wasn't able to happen. Oh, I missed that. That's interesting. Oh wow, that was in his space. Yeah. yeah. Now 107 percent. Um, Definitely doable for Zenoda. Absolutely. So much oh, pressure wow. put on him. Oh my goodness. Beam off stage. Oh wow, I'm surprised oh, I didn't knock Cypher him out. the Cypher took the hit. Yeah. I'm yeah, the, I'm surprised the Cypher hadn't blown up at that point. Right. And uh, 53%, very good damage rack up. Now let's see how Zenodo uh, tries to rack up more damage. Um, Look at that. He's looking for he's looking for that up tilt because that up tilt is what's going to kill. And it has so much range upward, which is good to catch Peach's landings and Peach's approaches. Right. Now. He's he's looking for that C4 now because that C4 is relatively safe, but he doesn't keep in mind that he's landing and he's getting his landings caught by Zenodo. Right. Oh, I like that. Both of them just kind of waiting. She's not trying to get too greedy with the move. And, uh, oh, here's the Nikita again. He cancels it. He doesn't even have to do anything else because she's out there. Wow, the Parasol actually went through it. Oh, wow. They're dancing here at the stage. Oh, nice up tilt. Exactly. Approaching with the aerials, catching them with the up tilt. That's exactly what he was looking for this entire time. Right. 
and um, but that that was still a really good comeback by Zenodo. But Kaysev did uh, close it really nicely with that up tilt. Uh, rarely, kind of rarely using it um, to kind of cut Zenodo off guard. That this is a really really good set. Mm -hmm. These guys have always been pretty back and forth. Maybe Zenodo a little more dominant than you know than Kaysev late. Um, not as a blade in Smash 4, but now it seems they're pretty on, pretty much on a, a similar playing field. Right, and I'm interested to see if we're going to take character change, but no, we're going to stay with Peach. All right. And uh, we're going to Town and City. Um, gives Peach a little bit more room to run away and camp. Um, and the high ceiling is going to benefit her by not having to maybe die off the top, but she is still relatively a light character. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with this pick ends up being. Uh, I actually believe this stage has a bigger blossom than Battlefield now. Um, <laughs> but it's interesting. It's yeah. interesting all this new data and all these changes from the last game. Right. All right, we have case of at 60% and 35% on Zenodo. Mm -hmm. And Zenodo's taking center stage, being very dominant. Case of trying to get back on with his, uh, with his forward tilts. Now he's recovering high. Will Zenodo catch him? No. Yeah, case of drifted really far away, so um, it kind of fell, so it would be very hard for the Zenodo to chase him and get a follow-up. Now now we see uh, Kesev trying to kind of camp a little bit, but catching the Zenodo's landings with the dash attack, where he's intangible on his head and on his um, arms during the entire animation from frame 5 through 12. So that really helps when there's a hitbox out there that Peach is throwing out. Right. And um, now 60% on Zenodo. Now he's uh, here's where I think he's gonna go back to that playstyle like he was doing game one, where he just forces Kesef to approach and just plays, you know, uh, goes in when he can and punishes Kesef's uh, unsafe uh, moves. We see a little bit of camping, but when Zenodo approaches, he, he goes to the other side of stage, does the same exact thing, throwing his, his grenades. Ooh, tries to catch him with a little bit of um, Nikita camping, but does not work. Right. Um. We see uh, case up at 48% here on the second stock while we still have yet to take Zenodo's first. Right. Oh, oh that's no! Shield. He accidentally oh, no. crushed shield again. This happens quite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. That was a free kill. I was, was going to ah. <laughs> Blow this up with is a Z4. Exactly. This is what happens when you do not kill your opponent when he breaks his own shield. I was gonna say I, I wasn't sure if the opposite was gonna connect, but I didn't want to jinx it. But it did it. Oh and wow! I, that Nair approach. This is what happens because he approached with Nair at the ledge instead of trying to maybe perhaps keep stage control. Right. And oh, I, we got the, we got the um, knee on shield. Uh, and he returns back to his grenade game, mm -hmm. trying to approach maybe with dash attack or you know some sort of uh, Z drop aerial. And I like that he directional air dodge away from Zenodo and then did F tilt to kind of pressure um, him on shield and get him off stage. Now we're gonna see Nikita again try to edge guard, but but now you know he's he's on the on the edge of the stage. Zenodo rolled in and now he has stage control. This is it's a really dicey situation. He Zenodo gets a fair off, takes the next stock. But it's obviously very, very doable. All you have to do is, is uh, take this stock pretty early and come back. Right. Look at that. Already 93%. Here is everybody's favorite edge guard, Nikita. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it, it is a very good edge guarding tool. I'm, I'm just surprised that the parasol kind of like goes through it almost, it looks like. Sometimes it seems like, because we did see in another game where the, the Nikita had dropped onto Peach somehow missing the parasol. Right. So it's very it's very dicey. Maybe that's something Zenodo will lab um, for future snakes who try to edge guard with Nikita. Mm -hmm. But we have 64% on Case up here, last stock, and 93. Now 97% right. on Peach. Case uh, still struggling to get in. He just finds himself off stage again and gets up regularly, gets a dash attack by Zenodo, and he's struggling to get on. Right in. This yeah, is where exactly he kind of struggles is like landing. Uh, oh wow! Kesev did not do anything. I don't know what option I, he picked, but I, he just got dared. I think he was just trying to wait for his another to throw out an option, but oh, oh no! No he, no, he did not cipher. Maybe yeah. he thought he had a second jump there. I yeah, I think maybe he was a little bit into it and like from blowing up the C4, but I'm not too sure. 
Um, that was unfortunate though, yeah. <laughs> but here's where we're gonna see Zenodo kind of failed at a uh, shield break. <laughs> and then yeah. Flash, and then was gonna kill him for it. Oh wow. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it didn't look like it was gonna connect here. It's funny because it looks like it oh. should because he's right next to him. You know what happened? Like, the Snake was teeter tottering and he got out of the range of that, like, like drift, and that's why it missed. I just recognized that, but. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And, um, let's see All where right. we get back to. Really confident with Peach, mm -hmm. the only real character in case of play is a snake. Yeah. So. All right, so going back to uh, Battlefield. Um, Instantly! Uh, oh, what? Instantly a shield break. You are not going to mess it up this time, are you? Oh, yeah. I just sort of, I guess. Kind of gets damage. I mean, it's okay. Um, has him at like 52% now. Um, but I still can't believe he pulled it right off the bat, man. That was just All ridiculous. Right. We have we have some uh, shield drop grenades mm -hmm. here. But an unsafe bear gives him uh, a little bit of percent. Now, now he is fighting for his life on the ledge here. Peach is trying to catch his landing here. Yep, nice then, holding there. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Look at all these unsafe options here. Kesev cannot fall apart right now. Yeah, he was kind of limited there with what he could do because um, his Cypher had like less range, but Zenodo's just doing such a good job of following his DI and getting these uh, strings. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh. He thought maybe that he needed to tech. Yeah. Maybe he was going to get hit into the stage and maybe he wanted to tech, but there was a directional air dodge there. Did not work out in his favor. Right. Okay, so you got to bring this back, man. It's still possible with these three stock games. But he's kind of getting a little, hit a little bit too much with his own grenades. And it's, I don't think you want to try and do that when you're two stocks behind. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's relatively safe on, on shield, it seems like, to up tilt. Um, Zenodo didn't want to lose his stock for any reason, and he just up tilted twice. But now we have we have punishes. Peach goes for a dash attack when he's pulling a grenade. That makes it quite unsafe. Mm -hmm. But we get the Nikita punish. It's not like we haven't seen that one before. <laughs> right. Uh, but the still still doable as hard as it seems like. We got some good camping. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Now he's up in the air catching on the landing Bes you know, despite the B right. reverse. Wonderful tech yeah. by Kesev. He, he, uh, he is very aware of when he has to. Um, and, uh, ooh, a little bit there with a grab. Gonna get thrown off All stage right. for it. He's off stage, and now Zenodo's looking to catch that landing. A he cheeky does. parasol attempt. <laughs> Trying to be all fancy-like, or maybe a misinput. The world may never know. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. An, an unsafe uh, partial uh, neutral air. Yeah, and that is gonna wow. be Wow. All because he did not quite make it into the, the ledge there. Yeah, he directional air dodged forward. Um, Zenodo had a lot of it just fair. And, uh, yes, yes, he did win, Peach. That's a little bit annoying, but... All right. 